देयर स्टूडेंट्स सब सेलेक्ट इज अ वेरी पावरफुल फीचर ऑफ माई सी कोड वॉट इज सब सेलेक्ट सब सेलेक्ट इज नेस्टेड सेलेक्ट सो इट इज अ सेलेक्ट विद इन अ सेलेक्ट नेस्टेड विद इन अ सेलेक्ट and uh, in this module we will not only look at sub selects but how they are implemented using not in and in using exists and not exists and of course we will see how to work with matching values how to look for the missing values using this nested and what will be the impact if a single row is returned and what is the problem if multiple rows are returned so this will be elaborated using examples and again i would suggest you to try them to actually type them execute them and convince yourself and read the notes right i will show you the code and the and the results but you have to run them yourself to convince yourself so let's look at the outline of this module so we have these uh, sub selects to produce the reference value okay and we will talk about exists and not exist in and not in okay and rewriting as joins for matching matching values and for missing values it will be clear trust me let's proceed ahead so what we are looking at over here the following is an example that looks up the ids for event records corresponding to test t and uses them to select scores for these tests okay and there are many ways to write the sub selects select asterisk from score okay where over here this is one approach okay and this is using the in right in some cases sub selects can be rewritten as joins we'll show how to do that later you may find sub select rewriting techniques useful depending upon the version of mysql you are working with there are several forms you can use to write sub selects this section this module surveys just a few of them not all of them using a sub select to produce a reference value you want the inner select to identify a single value to be used in the comparisons okay this is the inner one for example to identify the scores for the quiz that took place on certain date this date use an inner select to determine the quiz event id and then match score records against it in the outer select inner one okay and this is the outer one all right now so let's look at one problem which you are going to face and you might be tempted to write a certain code let's look at that example over here in this form of sub select where the inner query is preceded by a comparison operator it's necessary that the inner join produce no more than a single value okay multiple records will create a problem will create a problem if it produce multiple records the, the query will fail in some cases it may be appropriate to satisfy this constraint by limiting the inner query result with limit 1 okay limit 1 by because the query is going to fail this form of sub select can be handy for situations where you will be tempted to use an aggregate function in a where clause for example to determine which student was born first you might try to do this following you might be tempted tempted to write this query but it's going to it's going to fail that doesn't work because you can't use aggregate in the where clause okay the where clause determines which records to select but the value of min isn't known until after the records have already been selected however you can use a sub select to produce the minimum birth date as follows so you can use this sub select okay and now you will get the answer this is the outer one now it's going to work see this is this is the power of the sub select which is not obvious until you actually run the query and come across the issue exists and not exists sub selects these forms of sub selects work by passing values from the outer query to the inner one to see whether they match the conditions specified in the inner query 
for this reason you will be need to qualify column names with table names if they are ambiguous appear in more than one table exists and not exist subselects are useful for finding records in one table that match or don't match records another table so these are the two tables we were looking at all right not exist identifies non matches values in one table that are not present in the other non matches with these forms of subselects the inner query uses asterisk as the output column list there's no need to name columns explicitly because the inner query is assessed as true or false based on whether or not it returns rows not based on the particular values that the rows may contain based upon true or false understand in my sql you can actually write almost anything for the columns selection list but if you want to make it explicit that you are returning a true value when the inner select succeeds you might write the queries like this like this and like this so let's look at the in and out subselects the in and out forms of subselect should return a single column of values from the inner select to be evaluated in a comparison in the outer select okay single column of values single column of values for example the preceding exists and not exist queries can be written using in and out syntax as follows the previous one you can write them using in and not in okay and if you go back you can see that these results if you go back to the previous module which i'll show you these are the same results which we were getting using the exist and non exist which you can get using in and out now let's look at finding matching and missing values for the versions of mysql prior to 4.1 subselects were not available however it's often possible to rephrase a query that uses a subselect in terms of a join in fact even if you have mysql 4.1 or later it's not a bad idea to examine queries that you might be inclined to write in terms of subselects a join is sometimes more efficient than a subselect so you have this query over here okay and using the in and the same query can be written without a subselect without a subselect by convert into a simple join okay similarly we have another query over here okay with subselect this is subselect over here and you can use it using a join and have the same results for the matching values and for the missing values what you do is that for the missing value you use the not in and they are the same equivalent so this is the power of the subselect and writing them instead using joins so that's all i have for this module